Hey, what is up guys? Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say sorry for not posting a video yesterday. It was Thanksgiving. I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah, I just had a really busy day yesterday and I couldn't post. But uh, yeah, I've got some videos saved up. Um, only two right now. So, you know, I will have videos coming for the next few days. And yeah, I shouldn't miss a beat for a while. And let's get into the video. <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I have a PC build and it is a micro ATX PC build because uh, I did a mini ITX PC build a while back and it actually did really well. So in fact, I think it's like my most viewed video, maybe? I don't really remember. But um, yeah, I did a mini ITX build. It did pretty well. Uh, so now I'm going to do a micro ATX build. I don't know how well this is going to do, but you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, for the CPU, we went with the Intel Core i5 3570K, 3.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Um, now I usually don't go with Intel processors just because next gen is using eight cores, uh, all that good stuff. Because last gen they were only using like what three cores, and there was really no need for AMD CPUs, um, just because Intel was more efficient in pretty much every way. But you know, now AMD is good, so you know, you could trade this off with an AMD uh, if you want to switch this processor for, you know, an FX 6300 uh, and even save yourself a little bit of money, you could do so for sure. And uh, so, yeah, that'd be nice. And for the CPU cooler, we went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. And right now, this is $29.98 after the $5 mail in rebate. And you can actually. Uh, push your CPU to three point. Actually, you can push it to four gigahertz. To be honest, because um, the Core i5 that we have here is three point four gigahertz uh, base clock, so you can push the base clock all the way to four with this. Um, and I don't even think it would break a sweat. So you know you could be safe at four. So yeah, but for the motherboard, we went with the ASRock H77M Micro ATX LGA eleven fifty five motherboard. This is actually a pretty cheap motherboard at $69.99. Yes, I said $69. Um, for the memory, we went with the Corsair Vengeance 8GB, which is two sticks of 4GB. DDR3 1600MHz memory. Uh, it's pretty beast memory. Um, I use this in a lot of builds, usually anywhere from $750 up. Uh, anywhere below that, I'll go maybe Crucial Ballistics if it's low enough. Um, Maybe G Skill Rip Jaws or even Kingston HyperX. That's the room that I have in my build. So, yeah, uh, as I said, this is $79.98 and it's very good room. For the storage, we went with the Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive. And uh, this is a very good hard drive, uh, if nothing else, because. It's 115 bucks, and you get three terabytes. That's insane in itself. It's not as fast as some of the Western digital drives, but um, or not as reliable. I know I've said that before, but uh, yeah, it's a very good hard drive. And yeah, for the video card, we went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 772 gigabyte video card. And after the $20 mail-in rebate, this is 339.99, and a really good video card. This is actually exactly what I have in my build and I'm you know maxing out Batman Arkham Origins and getting decent frames I actually play it on like medium medium high settings and I get a solid 60 so yeah um, for the case we have the Corsair 350D uh, micro ATX mid tower case with a window and after the $10 mail-in rebate this is 80 bucks and obviously this is what this build is centered around because it is a micro ATX build uh, sorry if my voice sounds like crap, it's really early in the morning. But yeah, it's a micro ATX build and a very sturdy, nice case at that. And for 80 bucks, you really can't go wrong, even though it is a Corsair case. Uh, for the power supply, I went with the Corsair Professional 650 watt, 80 plus gold certified, semi modular ATX power supply. Um, yeah, I actually have the 750 watt version of this power supply. Uh, in my build and it is pretty awesome just because but yeah 
Uh, in this build, we're only using 406 watts. So, you know, you'll get a lot of use out of this. You could overclock everything. You could add another graphics card if you really feel like it, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. You can add more RAM, get a better CPU, as I said, and it will all work out just fine. So, yeah, guys, like this if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I post content daily, that being PC builds. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.